Hi, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to continue talking about some web design concepts. And let me just finish this line off. And the next thing I want to talk about is um, kind of think of your target audience. Okay? So, and you have to do this a lot. This is probably, you know, one of the most important concepts. Think of your target audience. Who's going to use your site and what can you put on your site that's going to fulfill the purpose of your site? And every website has a purpose, okay? It could be to sell product. It could be to educate on a topic. It could be to inform about a cause. All kinds of things, but there's always a purpose. And you always have to ask yourself, if what am I going to do, put on this page, is it going to fulfill that purpose? Um, let me show you this over here. I'm over at... Uh, jump over to here you go web pages that suck so you want to make sure that your site doesn't show up over here on Vincent Flanders web pages that suck and I'm gonna look at the daily sucker for today it's April 11th and let's see it's the Toronto research chemicals I haven't seen this site yet but I have it opened here and I haven't even gone into it yet I've got a flash blocker that will automatically stop things from happening on my web pages and I already see a problem right now and this should stand out to you because we just talked about browser resolution I've got a browser resolution right now of 1024 and even at a 1024 resolution there's a horizontal scroll action going on that's crazy now I do have a script blocker so let me go ahead and turn some things on I'm gonna allow this website oh they got background music can I stop it? I'm going to skip the intro. Okay, that helped. All right, that's crazy stuff there. Um, and let me just kind of close this. So here's the website for Toronto Research Chemicals. So one of the first annoying things they did is where they had what's generally called a splash page. They take you to a page when you want to go to the site and then you have to click to go in or skip the intro or whatever and that's annoying imagine walking to a grocery store and as soon as you go you're you're getting ready to go into the grocery store somebody pushes a big billboard or something in front of you and they say well if you want to go in you just go around the billboard and you're like come on don't make it harder on your visitors they clearly wanted to visit your site because they typed in the address and they hit enter they wanted to go to your site don't make it harder for them to get to your content Okay, so clearly we see more problems. They definitely have that horizontal scroll issue. So their site is sized pretty well. It does fit within my 1024 resolution, but these margins are just huge. So uh, their placement of their page is a little bit wacky. Um, let's see, they do have branding up in the top left. That's pretty standard. And a cute little animated graphic over here. Bringing your products for innovative research. Um, a decent little navigation menu. Nothing too shocking about that. There's really no great information on their home page. I think I am on the home page, right? Let me click on this again. Oh, it's back to the intro. Yep, skip that intro. Um, so it's kind of weird. Uh, and maybe I'm just not in the chemical business, research business, so I don't really know what to expect here. So log into TRC, register to TRC, your account, log out. Um, I don't think I'm logged in, so I don't know why they have a log out option. So it's kind of weird on some of the stuff they've got. But you can look at these sites to, to find, obviously, there's some good things, but you can't just assume that every business out there has a really good site and is worth duplicating. Background music, incredibly lame. Don't put the background music on your site, unless, of course, you're a rock band, I suppose. You can have that. Let me show you another site, and I bring this particular site up in class a lot to make fun of it, and this is Tazo T. And um, I just went over here. I haven't gone in yet. Please, and once again, this is a splash page. I went to Tazo.com, and I literally typed in Tazo.com, press enter in my browser, and now they're asking me, please click here to enter. I thought I already made a good effort to enter, but they're confirming. Are you sure you really want to come to our site? Let's find out. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. It's got to load up because it's huge in the flash. Ah, finally. Now, my biggest beef with these kinds of sites here let me scroll this up a little bit here so you can't even really see the whole page it doesn't fit in my screen size but my biggest beef with Tazo T site is they clearly spent a lot of money on a web designer and this is hugely flash intensive and my complaint is well I don't know what kind of people drink tea well all kinds of people okay young people old people men women technically savvy uh, technically um, ignorant okay 
All kinds of people drink tea, yet they've designed their website for only one niche or one segment of their target audience, okay? For instance, if I come to this website and I want to search for a particular product, I want to search for, I want to see what flavors of green tea that they have. How would I do something like that, okay? Because that's my, that seems like a reasonable reason to go to a tea site, right? To find out, well, what flavors of green tea might you have? And then what grocery stores in my area would sell that particular flavor of green tea? Well, I don't see anything like that. Um, explore our teas. Seems reasonable. Oh, by the way, check out this navigation menu. Okay. Yes. This is their navigation menu. It's making extremely loud, annoying sounds. Okay, now all of us know somebody who's not very technically savvy. Think about your grandfather, your father, your mother. Think about them trying to navigate this, nav this menu over at the Tazo T website. Extremely annoying. Okay. Well, it's getting it's driving me crazy. I'm gonna explore their teas. I'm looking for some green tea. Ah, there's a menu. That's pretty nice. Yeah, that's a good normal page here. Green teas. And I see they've got a bunch of flavors. All right, that's pretty cool. Um, China green tip. I'll just click on this one. And I'd like to find out if there's any stores in my area that sell this. Oh, it's making silly sound effects. Giving me some tea. Takes a minute to load up some stuff. Okay, China green tips. All right, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to find out where they sell this stuff. How can I do something like that? I don't know if I can or not. Ingredients. Own page. Tea selector. Oh, this is just driving me crazy. Okay. So, just because you're great with Flash, just because you're good with art and design, doesn't make you a great web developer. So, take some, you know, Look at Taz OT's website and think about the purpose of it. Why would someone visit their site? To get information about their teas. Why do you want to make it difficult for your customers to get information about your product? i got to close that. It's just driving me crazy. All right. So we got the Taz OT site. We've got the Toronto Research Chemical site. Both sites spent money on making their websites, but they're violating some major rules of usability. So you got to keep an eye on that kind of stuff.